Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. The Nepal Dairy Association has urged the government to make Corona vaccine available for the dairy industrialists and farmers. The government has started homework to stop real estate business through brokers. Cattle rearing is the main source of good income in Nepal in recent times. Jersey cows have been reared commercially in a modern way. Plus more. Let us continue the program with the approval of seeds. I'd like to apologize about misinterpretation of the name of the village that is starting a beekeeping business. The name is Deusa, not Danusha. Now the news at hand. Good seeds are very important for the high production in agriculture. The scientists around the world are always busy studying and producing seeds that give the best output. There have been seeds that are genetically engineered so that the seeds have higher disease resistance and high production. In Nepal, NARC does research on seeds. There was a report recently that said that Nepali farmers use traditional seeds and do not use the industrial seeds. This report talks about the seeds that have been developed by the Nepali government. The seeds should be demonstrated by the scientists such that the farmers believe that the seeds really work. All new seeds should be tried first and commercially promoted. The Seed Quality Control Center has proposed to approve and register about 12 different varieties of crops. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Seed Quality Control Center has proposed to approve and register about 12 different varieties of crops. It has been decided to list about 36 different varieties of crops including paddy, maize, wheat, millet, sugarcane, rye, bean, cardamom, etc. Out of 36 varieties of 12 crops, 21 varieties have been registered and 15 varieties have been released. The center has also decided to recommend for publication in the Nepal Gazette of the Government of Nepal through the Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development for the approval of the varieties of the crop proposed for release and registration. As soon as it is published in the Nepal Gazette, the varieties of the crop will be used in Nepal. After the news report, let us now talk about Hat Bazaar app. We want to shop for lowered price at the same time shop for high quality. With new technology out in the market, the life of the people has been very easy. Now the shopping will be easier with the Hot Bazaar app. The Nepali market price is easily affected by small matters. So we do not know how the app will help in the price fluctuation until now. This app allows the buyers and sellers to deal in their own agreed price. We do not want people to be cheated. We want fair trade. The transaction should be such that all concerned are happy. What is good about this app is that farmers will be directly dealing with the consumers. The Hat Bazaar mobile app has come into operation with the objective of facilitating purchase and sale between farmers and consumers. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The Hat Bazaar mobile app has come into operation with the objective of facilitating purchase and sale between farmers and consumers. Through the app, farmers can sell their produce and customers and sellers can easily buy goods by bargaining at their own prices. The app has features like filtering and viewing goods, removing sold goods, creating seller profiles, reading agriculture news, watching videos, listening to FM, and even sharing on social media. Travelhill.com Private Limited has brought the app to the market. The app is available on both Android and iOS platforms, so it can be downloaded and run for free. After the news report, let us now talk about demand for Corona vaccine. People are in fear for the last more than one year. The people in the front line are vaccinated all over the world.
However, dairy farmers are saying that they are in danger of being infected and have not received vaccine. Since this pandemic is something that happened unexpectedly, the governments all over the world are quite reluctant as to what to do next. We should all understand this difficulty. The health workers are all trying to reach everyone. Everyone needs the vaccine right now so that we can live free life. We cannot because the disease is spreading and the vaccine is not going at the pace we want it to. Health workers are doing what is humanely possible. We should keep calm and wait for our turn. The Nepal Dairy Association has urged the government to make corona vaccine available for the dairy industrialists and farmers. Let us now look at this news report for a little bit. The Nepal Dairy Association has urged the government to make the vaccine available for the farmers and industrialists involved in the dairy business immediately. As the outbreak of COVID-19 is increasing daily and dairy business is one of the most sensitive essential commodities, the farmers and industrialists who are at the front line of daily risk have not yet received the vaccine. The Dairy Development Board, all the state ministries of agriculture and cooperatives, all the state dairy development boards have written to all the 753 local bodies. The association has urged to provide vaccine to 30,000 industrialists and 500,000 farmers working at daily risk. After the news report, let us now talk about real estate. Owning a home is an expression of oneself. It identifies us in a world that is materialistic. Everyone wants to own something. It is part of growing up to be an adult. This past one year has changed the way people buy land and homes. It is also changing in Nepal. The government is going to allow the dealings through only agencies. This way, the revenue collection will be more accurate. A lot of the people around the world do not like to pay tax. However, it is important that we pay the tax as tax money goes for the functioning of the country. So we should be responsible to pay up even though we do not like it. We want our country to be developed in all sectors. For this, money is needed. The government has started home up to stop real estate business through brokers. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The government has started homework to stop real estate business through brokers. The government is about to bring a new arrangement that the purchase and sale of land can be done only through agencies as the revenue has not been collected as expected. The government is going to make arrangements for buying and selling from the agency as it is not seen in the tax range when buying and selling through brokers. It is said that the same arrangement is being made in Nepal as real estate is being bought and sold through agencies all over the world. In Nepal, it is found that brokers pay few percent commission when they are looking for a house or land and the buyer is satisfied. Now the tax range will be widened when the purchase and sale arrangement is made through the agency. At present, even the real profit tax on real estate has not been paid. The tendency to pass the land by paying as little as possible in profit tax is prevailing. It has been found that even if he earns $3 million from the sale of a piece of land, he shows that he has sold it for only 500000 and pays only profit tax. It has been said that the agency itself will come under the tax net as soon as the government makes arrangements for buying and selling real estate through the agency. After the news report, let us now talk about benefit in lemon cultivation. There's a global shortage in lemon due to COVID-19. In America, there's shortage of labor due to the pandemic. There was fourfold increase in the price of lemons in 2020, according to one report. In Nepal, the lemon cultivation is becoming very popular. Lemon water is very good for health as it helps in weight loss, hydration of the body, and supplies vitamin C. Lemon adds kick to the taste of many dishes. The lemon pickle is considered medicine in Nepal and India. 
If you have spare time, growing lemon might pay your bills. Farmers of Bardaghat Ranitar in Nawalpur district have been attracted to gold lemon cultivation with the development of technology. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Farmers of Bardaghat Ranitar in Nawalpur district have been attracted to gold lemon cultivation with the development of technology. Farmers have been attracted to lemon cultivation after receiving grants from the Prime Minister's Agriculture Modernization Project. Narendra Kumar KC of Ranitar, Bardaghat, Nawalpur district has earned lakhs of rupees by selling lemons. Casey, who returned to Nepal after working and sweating abroad, has earned a decent income by selling gold lemons planted on his four kata of land. He is now earning more than 800,000 rupees annually. Casey, who started golden lemon farming in 2072 BS, has now started producing seedlings along with lemon seeds. He gave an example of the style of seedling production and the ability to earn a decent income in a small area by producing advanced varieties of plants with simple technology. He has also planted different species of plants in five kata area. His main source of income is golden lemon. Farmer Narendra Kumar Kesi says that he currently sells 52 quintals of gold lemon annually. The golden lemon tree is not very big. The fruit does not rot quickly, so it is very popular in Nepal because of its fragrant juice. Gold lemons, which have high commercial potential and are also found in Tarai and Hills, bear fruit up to three times a year and are fruitful for 20 to 25 years. These lemons are divided into gold lemons 1 and 2. After the news report, let us now take a small commercial break. Stay with Krishi Television. After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now talk about dairy farming. According to one news on milk consumption in the USA, it has gone down by 40% since 1975 till 2018. This means that dairy farms are less popular now than in 1975. As a personal experience, I have found that a lot of the people complain about lactose intolerance. This could be due to something in the processed food of the modern times. We could be becoming sensitive to natural food that our body requires. This needs to be investigated more. Human biology is very complex and normally people do not understand the details of its functioning. Only doctors understand what is wrong with our bodies when we get sick. One thing we should understand is that we should not be sensitive to milk intake as we first drink milk as a baby. Cattle rearing is the main source of good income in Nepal in recent times. Jersey cows have been reared commercially in a modern way. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Cattle rearing is the main source of good income in Nepal. In recent times, Jersey cows have been reared commercially in a modern way. At the same time, the field of milk production has also expanded. Right now, as cow rearing has started to flourish commercially, the youth have also started to be attracted to this profession. Kisha Bahadur Chetri of Navalpur is one such youth. Chetri actually comes permanently from Baglung. After returning from abroad, he has been living in Nawalpur and raising cows commercially with his friends. Initially, 
The three of them started a farm called Taulagiri Agriculture and Dairy at the end of 2075 BS. Now there are four people in his group. They now have 29 cows on their farm. The farm produces 140 liters of milk every day. Geisha Bahadur also went to Saudi Arabia for some time for foreign employment. He also worked as a cow farmer there. But no matter how much work he did, he only got a dry salary. Since the job was raising cows there too, he thought how much work he could do in his own country if he went back to Nepal. Then he returned to Nepal. After that, he started a farm with his close friends with the aim of providing employment in his own country and becoming self-sufficient. After the news report, let us now talk about outbreak of army worm. Army worm is presenting challenge to the farmers around the world. Right now, over 100 countries around the world have to deal with the outbreak of army worm, which attacks the maize. This insect is one of the most destructive pests around. In Nepal, this worm is spreading across the country. This next report is about the outbreak in Morang. Last week, I had reported on the outbreak in Chiton. This is a serious problem that the Nepali farmers are facing. This worm is quite new to Nepal, so the farmers are not aware of its ins and outs of its control measures. There's outbreak of army insect in maize. Even after spraying pesticides, it is not under control. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Outbreaks appear to be exacerbated during this period in Kerabari village of Morang. Outbreaks of army insects have been reported in more than 3 hectares out of 5 hectares planted by the village municipality according to the agriculture branch. Outbreaks appear to be exacerbated in the Terai. Farmers are worried about the outbreak of army worms. The village municipality has stated that it has started teaching the farmers the method of collecting and destroying insects as new way to control the insects even after spraying pesticides. It is said that the outbreak of insects has also increased due to the drought. After the news report, let us now talk about meat shops. Meat shops in Nepal are increasing as the people who eat meat have increased. This leads to the question of standards of the meat shops. Not all the meat shops are of the national standards. If the meat shops are not of high standards, the health of the public is directly affected. The people are in danger of contracting infection of some sort through meat which is not clean. This is mostly seen in Bhaktapur district. The Bhaktapur municipality is warning the meat shops to upgrade their standards during the monitoring. Most of the meat shops in Bhaktapur have been found to be infested with fleas, garbage and operating against standards. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Most of the meat shops in Bhaktapur have been found to be infested with fleas, garbage and operating against standards. The monitoring of the meat shop conducted by Bhaktapur municipality on Thursday found that most of the shops were operating with fleas, garbage and substandard standards. The Bhaktapur municipality has warned that action will be taken against those who continue to disobey the suggestion to the meat shop. This slaughterhouse has not been cleaned enough and the meat has been kept open. It has been instructed to improve it, saying that it is infested with fleas, dust and dirt. The monitoring team has also instructed to make arrangements with netting or glass box for the meat, white apron and pay attention to cleanliness. Most meat shops do not use white aprons. Those who do not register have been instructed to renew their registration within three days. After the news report, let us now talk about what is the Prime Minister is saying. Commerce of the modern times has created modern life. The agriculture is mechanized so that the people are relieved of hard labor. The commercial world is open to live a life without hard labor. The developed nations are in the forefront in commerce. That is why the earnings and life of the developed nations are envy of the developing nations. Also, the people in developing nations who have achieved much are attracted to living in developed nations 
at even low pay. In Nepal, the Prime Minister is giving sweet speeches on mechanizing agriculture and creating commerce that supports good life in Nepal itself. Work should be considered part of everyone's responsibility. Only then we can achieve quality of human dignity in the world. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has said that the country is on the path of prosperity and the government is in the process of nation building. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli has said that the country is on the path of prosperity and the government is in the process of nation building. Inaugurating the 70th General Assembly of the Nepal Chamber of Commerce in Kathmandu on Thursday, Prime Minister Oli said that it would take some time to get the country back on track, adding that the country was on the path to prosperity. He said that the government has not only focused on the development of one sector but also on the development of every sector. He also said that the government was moving ahead with the pace of short-term and long-term development. Prime Minister Oli also urged politicians and businessmen to work honestly in the country's development drive. <laughs> Rakio Duita pilot, Duita diver, on a choco lepo is turning to him. Father Alden of Hucha, break my foot, Alden. Extra letter the only dinner. Thorough. Amy Tibi was an hour like Punch on the very for the castle. As a Choto Shamema, very big coach is like ferry track, Madame. He stressed that Nepal should now promote exports rather than imports and produce the required products in Nepal. COVID-19 like chance na dium. Maile bande kare kuchu. Yaha bata forgive pasi hathmo khramrari shavan banle dhoom. Ali kadi tatupani dharma aunsa. Aajkal ta tatupani dharma ta bande vasto sabeli jasho kare kaise tapay orga na hone kuri baile. अलिक तात्ता तो पानी ली दे नाश ली दे नाक से एक्सेस करो सफाई कर दी पहली करो नाक में बस नहीं हो कोरोना तीन बड़ा फाल दिए पची चट नॉन पानी ले गार्गल कर दियो शकिन से बने अम्मा का दो इटा पात उमाल दियो बेसरी गार्गल कर दियो घाटी में बसी कुछ चट इस्टीम लेने हो फोक्सो बड़ा चट ऐ Chairman of the Nepal Chamber of Commerce, Rajesh Kaji Shrestha, said that there was no alternative for the government and the private sector to unite for economic prosperity. Various people were honored in the event. After the news report, let us now talk about Irrigation Canal. I'd like to congratulate all the residents of Kathmandu on arrival of Malamchi water. Now we can wash clothes and bathe as much as we like. Thank you, God, for blessing the human mind. There are other five projects for irrigation of crops completed. This is a great news, of course, as due to lack of irrigation, many fields are barren. We need projects like these to move forward in food security and development. We are far behind in time. The Nepali nation needs a facelift. Five irrigation projects have been constructed in a year in seven rash of Katekola village municipality of Baglung district. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Five irrigation projects have been constructed in a year in seven rash of Katekola village municipality of Baglung district. The Gandagi state government, Katekola village municipality and ward office have also constructed a five kilometer irrigation canal by mobilizing the budget. The work of the two projects started last year and three projects located in the current fiscal year have reached the final stage. Ward chairperson Prem Lamichane said that the projects have been constructed to irrigate an area of about 500 hectares. The project, which is under construction at a cost of 25 million rupees by the Gandaki state government, will be able to irrigate 200 hectares of land. 
This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basna. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the day. The Nepal Dairy Association has urged the government to make Corona vaccine available for the dairy industrialists and farmers. The government has started homework to stop real estate business through brokers. Cattle rearing is the main source of good income in Nepal in recent times. Jersey cows have been reared commercially in a modern way. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnath. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samritta Krishi, Nepal Kushan.